what if you want to create a chamfer or degree in a board or audio of a cylinder and you do not have a cam software to create the program don't worry in this video i will explain a macro program for doing this happy learning this program will create a degree or chamfer so first let us see the workpiece definition which is actually used for the simulation so here we have used one block 100 by 100 and 50 mm thickness this is helping this is going to help us mainly for the simulation now to start with a drilling is done because before you do the chamfer or the degree in the bore there has to be a hole so just i have used one 20 mm drill and in g0 and the drilling is done and the next tool is 10 mm r1 so this can be a flat end mill where the calculation will be correct and in case you are using a end mill with corner radius so you need to calculate instead of 5 mm you may have to program little bit more some little bit adjustment you need to do so that you get a complete chamfer otherwise it can be the end can be incomplete so it's kind of a compensation which you need to consider but compared to a flat end mill the end mill with the corner radius will give you a better surface finish so here it goes the bore diameter at degree end so where the degree is ending there the bore diameter so that mean it's a prerequisite so when you want to make a degree or chamfer the first the bore has to be finished so here we are assuming that there is a bore with 20 mm diameter already so in this case what we have done is we have just used a drill so that the simulation will be correct so here the length of uh, taper is 5 mm and the angle can be anything so now i have used 60 60 degree so the angle is with z axis and the cutter diameter is ended here there is another way of calling the cutter diameter directly from offset page but for simplicity i am not using that uh, here you can enter the diameter directly and this is the depth of cut for each pass lesser the depth of cut better the finish and this is the drilled hole diameter and cutter positioning clearance so why this is required because considering this whatever size is there plus the clearance the cutter will get position in this case this drilled hole diameter and this bore diameter is same so another way of doing can be a drill hole diameter can be smaller and then you can do the chamfer and then later you can enlarge the bore that is also possible so start z value so normally you will start with zero but it can be a minus figure also or even plus figure whatever now what this command does is r12 is uh, equated to absolute r12 so here somebody if they give a minus uh, value actually here there is no plus minus required just value is required somebody if they enter minus figure so that minus will get uh, negated here so this will become a positive value 
and the end result will be calculated based on start result then this is the total number of cuts so r28 is equal to round r12 by r18 r12 is the length of the taper and r18 is depth of cut so there can be situations where the length of taper is not in multiple of uh, this depth of cut so what can happen is the last depth of cut may not happen so just to avoid that this is being rounded up so that you get the complete uh, number of passes and then from bore diameter the bore radius is calculated and uh, subtracting the cutter radius compensated radius is calculated then x start position so the where the cutter has to start so that is calculated based on the compensated radius and the clearance value then whatever is your start z plus 5 mm the cutter will get position and here the loop starts so what it does is r36 equal r28 multiplied by r18 so r28 is the total number of cuts so total number of cut multiplied by r18 is the depth of cut so the total length you will get and the number of uh, the number of cuts will get decremented here so if it is 20 number of cuts here it will become 19 then after one more pass 18 17 16 like that it will become zero ones so when it becomes uh, say one so here the depth of it will be uh, just number of one multiplied by the depth of cut so that would be the last cut and current z is calculated based on the end z plus this value and for whatever taper length is remaining what should be the uh, delta x that means the adjustment in the diameter with respect to the bore diameter so that will get calculated using this formula so the tan theta you will get opposite side by adjacent side so you will get opposite side equals adjacent side multiplied by tan angle so using this formula the delta x will be calculated so the cut start with g0 g40 x equal to r34 r34 is the x start position and y0 so we are not using uh, g41 and g42 because it is already compensated then g01 z equal to r38 r38 is calculated here for every pass what should be the z axis then x equal to r32 plus r40 so r40 is the delta x and r32 is the radius compensated radius so here you will get the uh, radius of the chamfer then whatever is this radius based on that the complete circle command i equals minus this so g0 g40 x equal to r34 whether it comes back to the original start point then the number of cuts will get decremented and then it will check for if the number of cut is more than or equal to zero so when the number of cuts is more than zero then it will go back when the value of r28 becomes zero so even that time it will go back and then run this loop so when r28 equal to 0 what happens r36 becomes 0 and the current z will become the end z so that means 
the last pass will happen in the n z value so that's how the program works now let us see the simulation we can have a look at the top view we can have a look at first then we can look at 3d view yeah so you can see the jumper has already been prepared so this is how the program works now what we can do is we can have the similar program we can do for OD also so this is what we have done is for ID now we have done it uh, with uh, 60 degree so now let us change it to 30 degree and see the simulation again so the all the calculation will happen automatically earlier it was 60 degree now it will become 30 degree So you can see uh, the chamfer is there. Uh, so now uh, we have seen making the degree or chamfer in the board. Now let us see the same thing on a OD. So here the workpiece definition is uh, directly a cylinder with 40 mm diameter and 50 mm length. The cutter is same. So here, uh, like the earlier example, there is no drill and all is required directly on the cylinder we can make the chamfer so here there are only few changes so now let us see how the simulation works now there is a cylinder and the cutter comes and make the chamfer so beautiful chamfer is uh, being prepared so here now the advantage would be you can even see from front whereas in the earlier case where we have made a board there is no uh, chance to make it uh, side view because you cannot see from uh, front there the only possibility is uh, to see the uh, thing in a 3d view so here you have the advantage of uh, seeing it from the side so now let us uh, keep it in 3d only look better now let us change it to say 30 degree and then see the simulation again So now we can see the uh, taper degree is automatically changed to 30 degree with respect to Z axis. So this is how the macro works. So this can be used for any diameter and any angle and any cutter. So now let us have a quick look. What are the changes done? So it is mainly earlier the compensation was done with minus now it is plus even the safety position is plus instead of minus and the delta x value calculation is same so earlier it was getting uh, added with the radius here it will get uh, reduced so these are the major changes otherwise the basic program remains same so I hope you understood the basic concept. Happy learning. So from side how it look. So automatically the position get changed 
and you get the chamfer so without having a 3d software you can create this kind of uh, chamfer so this is called a 2.5d 